Christopher Wilde is a wildly famous 17-year-old pop star who has equal parts charm and talent. Throngs of fans attend his concerts and paparazzi chase him wherever he goes. The teen heartthrob has captivated the heart of every girl in the country. Well, almost every girl. There still is one person who is immune to the charms and good looks of this Greek god of the teen world, Jessica Olsen. Unlike her elder sister Sarah, Jessica has no interest in Christopher Wilde or his insanely good looks. She would rather read a book than fangirl over a boy on TV, while her sister Sarah claims to be his biggest fan. The girls are visiting their grandparents in Los Angeles for the summer and Sarah has big plans to meet Christopher Wilde. Christopher arrives at the club with his best friend, Stubby, where they run into Christopher's girlfriend, Alexis Bender. Alexis is a big star like Christopher, but unlike him, she loves attention and the paparazzi. She reminds Christopher about her birthday party the next day which he totally forgot about, and he promises to be there for her. Meanwhile, the paparazzi crowd them, and this makes Christopher mad and annoyed as he tries to keep them back. The next day at school, Sarah and her friend make fun of Jessica for coming to the school dance just to cover for the school paper. Then the two obsessively fangirl over Christopher which Jessica cannot relate to. She finds out that Sarah plans to go meet Christopher when she is in Los Angeles, and has mapped out his every move in a scrapbook for the past 18 months. Both of Christopher's parents are his managers. They fuss over Christopher being late to a very important meeting but he makes it just in time. The three sit with a big movie producer named Alan who really thinks Christopher is a talented kid and wants to cast him in his next movie. The only problem is that his people do not agree with him. Because they think Christopher is a spoiled bratty pop star, who has a knack for tangling with the paparazzi, keeping in mind that the tabloid has a gift for manipulating things. Alan only wants Christopher to sit still and stay out of the papers until his big meeting on Monday. He asks the boy to stay away from the cameras for two days and they'll be golden. Jessica and Sarah arrive at their grandmother's house and later that night, Sarah finds out about Christopher's performance at Alexis's birthday party. She paces around her room, freaking out as she figures out a way to get out of the house. She then convinces Jessica to come along so that their parents don't object. Jessica tries to argue her way out of it, saying that she has no interest in meeting the guy. But when Sarah promises to stop talking about him obsessively if Jessica agrees to come along, she has no choice but to agree to her sister's plan. Jessica and Sarah arrive at the club, and Sarah leaves Jessica to take care of the car while she's gone. Christopher, who is not supposed to be seen in public, has to sneak into the club to keep his promise to Alexis. Stubby helps Christopher get in through the back after having successfully fooled the paparazzi, and he then gives a perfect performance at the party. And though Sarah is inside the club, she misses Christopher by just an inch, as he rushes out the back after the performance. Meanwhile, Jessica, bored of waiting in the car for Sarah to come out, decides to get into the club using the back door to find her. But just as she reaches for the door, Christopher opens it and Jessica gets hit on the head. Christopher immediately apologizes to the girl who snaps at him for being so careless. She finally realizes just who he is, but that does not work in Christopher's favor because she couldn't care less about him. He worries about being spotted by a pap, and despite Jessica's protests, he insists that she come with him and they get into the car that Stubby has waiting for him. Christopher takes Jessica straight to the hospital where his brother-in-law, who is a doctor, examines her and gives her the green light. Christopher gets a call from his mother, asking him to get home to an impromptu party for Alan. This makes Christopher panic, and more bad news follows when his brother-in-law informs him about the paparazzi out front. Christopher gets the man to trade cars with him, giving his expensive car up in exchange for a barely functional vehicle, in which he then drives a very grumpy Jessica away. Jessica is at her wit's end with Christopher and just wants to get home, but he has to make a pit stop at the party first. He sneaks the girl into his house and tries to hide her before the cameras catch a glimpse of her, causing another scandal to land in his lap. He asks her to stay put in the guest room while he plays the nice host. At the party, Christopher effortlessly manages to charm everyone as usual, and even sings a song when requested by Alan's daughters. Jessica watches him from the balcony and, despite herself, is impressed by his talent. Soon after, Christopher finds her in his garage and Jessica insists that he drop her home now. He asks her to choose a car and he will take her right away. Jessica is not impressed by Christopher's charm at all, but she picks a car and they get on the road, unaware that they're being followed. On the drive over, when Christopher starts jamming to his song on the radio, Jessica mocks him for being pretentious. Though she likes his music, she is not really a crazy fan of his, and this information bums Christopher a little. He argues that if she knew him better, she would probably like him. They soon arrive at her grandmother's address, accidentally ditching the paparazzi tailing them. Jessica grumpily gets out of the car, without listening to Christopher's earnest apology. When Christopher spots the van tailing him, he has no option but to hide. He knocks on Jessica's door for help and she is simply exhausted to see him there. She asks him to go away and has absolutely no interest in helping him. Christopher remains persistent and offers to pay her $5,000 if she just lets him hide for the night. Jessica finds that hard to pass up and ends up helping him push his car into the garage. She then fixes him up with a sleeping bag for the night, 
she still can't understand why he's being so paranoid about the paparazzi. Christopher comes across a bucket hat in the garage which he then puts on, and Jessica fondly recalls it being her grandfather's hat. She asks him to keep it since it looks good on him, but the accidental compliment is followed by an immediate scowl. Christopher tries to thank her for her help, and he smiles, which then annoys Jessica. She asks him to stop looking at her with his trademark charming smile and innocent eyes, because while it may work on other girls, it won't work on her. The next morning, Sarah is asked to fetch something from the garage when, with a jolt, Jessica is reminded of the pop star whom she left in there last night, and she runs after Sarah. Sarah is annoyed with her sister for leaving her alone at the club after she had failed to meet Christopher Wilda. Jessica tries to stop her from opening the garage door but much to her relief, Christopher's car is no longer in the garage. Back inside, when the girls find out about Christopher being on the news, Jessica tries to stop Sarah from seeing it but fails at that. The newscaster gossips about Christopher being spotted at his girlfriend's party for a performance, and this astonishes Jessica a little bit, but not as much as the next piece of news about Christopher appearing at his mansion with a mystery girl on his arm. Jessica instantly turns the TV off, calling the news nothing but slander, and Sarah starts fighting her for the remote. To stop the fight, Grandma suggests that the girls take her car and go to the beach. Sarah brings them to Malibu in hopes that she can spot Christopher surfing there. Though Sarah does not spot him, Jessica sure does. He is wearing her grandfather's hat and trying to stay incognito in order to keep the paparazzi from finding him. But Jessica sees right through his facade. Christopher tells her that he can't go home because there's a parade of paparazzi vehicles parked outside his house just waiting for him. But Jessica mocks his problem, not understanding why that may be an issue for someone like him. Christopher racks his mind for a solution and then he gets it. He asks Jessica to give him her car so the paparazzi will not recognize his vehicle and let him go. Jessica decides to help him out and swaps his keys with the ones in her sister's bag, who has absolutely no idea about what is going on around her. But just as Jessica hands over the keys to her grandmother's shiny pink car to Christopher, black vans full of paparazzi arrive at the scene and Christopher has no choice but to pull off a grand auto escape. He gets Jessica to wear his sunglasses, to help her keep her face hidden in case they take pictures of her, and the two escape the camera shutters of the paparazzi by a hair's breadth. Back on the road, Jessica and Christopher start talking and Jessica finally seems to be liking his company. She even wants to keep his sunglasses to herself, but Christopher is weirdly attached to them. While talking, Christopher finds out that Jessica hasn't explored the city much since she's been busy chasing him with her sister, his biggest fan, so he decides to be her tour guide. They throw caution to the wind and go exploring the city. By the time the tour ends, Jessica has forgotten all resentment she had for the guy and feels happy to have had such a perfect day. But that feeling does not last too long as Christopher spots some cars tailing them. He speeds up to escape them and Jessica guides him with the help of the map in her hands. Though in a wicked turn of events, while they are able to escape the paparazzi, Christopher and Jessica find themselves lost in the middle of nowhere. Christopher is quick to blame Jessica for her bad navigating skills and she gets defensive about it. The two end up in an argument, halted in the middle of nowhere, only to realize that the car is not moving even though Christopher is pushing on the gas pedal. The car starts to sink in the massive quicksand and a panicked Jessica climbs atop the roof. She gets so mad at Christopher for doing this to her grandmother's car and the two get into another argument over whose fault it is. They eventually find a way to escape being sucked in, but in their attempt to cross cover, the two fall right into the muddy waters. Jessica angrily fishes her bag out of the water and storms off. Meanwhile, Christopher's parents try to reach him but the bad network won't allow it. The keys in Sarah's bag lead him straight to Christopher's car and she almost thinks she is being pranked on TV. On their walk back, Jessica is evidently pissed off and even when Christopher worries about her, she rudely dismisses his concerns. All she wants is to get home and suffer the consequences of her actions. Christopher finally snaps at her, calling her grumpy. All he wants is to have fun and for the first time in a really long time, he is at a place where he does not have to worry about the cameras or interviews or big crowds, and he won't let Jessica ruin this for him. Jessica calls him out for being a brat who throws a tantrum and walks away when he does not get his way. But unlike his friends, she will not chase after him. This triggers another argument between the two and ends with Jessica claiming that she would never want to be his friend. This confuses Christopher because he has never had someone who hasn't liked him. He considers himself to be very likable, but Jessica's constant rejection is giving him whiplash. Jessica gives him a reality check by listing out the extravagant ways in which his life is not even real. People only like him because he is a superstar, not because they know the real him. Christopher tries to get her to listen to him, trying to tell her how he has felt the past two days, when he suddenly falls into a lake, scaring Jessica. He then pulls her with him and the two forget all about their previous argument and have fun splashing water at each other. A while later, they dry themselves under the shade. Christopher wishes he could just stay here where no one could find him. Everyone just wants something from him, even his parents, who can't stop talking about the movie deal. 
Though Christopher does not seem to resent them for it, he has just accepted his life. The movie deal along with his widely popularized world tour seems like a lot to Jessica, but Christopher does not think he has a choice. He does not want to disappoint the fans and so he can't choose between one option. Jessica finally realizes just how much she does not get about his life. It is so different and grand from her everyday regular life. Christopher expresses how much he enjoys being around her in the present moment without the intrusion of his fame. He likes himself much better this way and Jessica agrees. They talk some more, and Jessica can't help but feel a little something for Christopher when she looks at him, especially when he flashes her his patent Christopher Wilde a smile. Meanwhile, Sarah arrives at Christopher's home looking for him, where she runs into his friend, Stubby. Christopher and Jessica finally make their way back to the beach. Now that it's time to part ways, Christopher feels a little emotional. He had a great time on his adventure with Jessica, and thinks that she is someone who is so different from the other girls in a very surprising way. They lean into each other to kiss, when suddenly, Christopher is scared off by some surfers who might recognize him but he manages to escape their eyes. Now that it's time to get back to the real world, Christopher tells Jessica that she can't tell anyone about their short adventure together. Not even her parents, because if things get out of hand, the media could get involved and he might even lose the movie. Jessica does not understand why that is, when he reminds her that he is a superstar and she's just an ordinary girl. His words hurt Jessica. She can't believe just how fast his feelings changed for her. Had it been Alexis instead of her, Christopher would not have been so scared of having their pictures taken. She tries to leave when Christopher asks her to leave him the camera, from which they took all the pictures of their tour together. This upsets Jessica even more and she throws the camera at him, but then remembers she has no money to get back home. She asks him for cab fare, and Christopher gives her more money than required, as compensation for letting him stay in her garage. He tries to make Jessica understand just how difficult the paparazzi can be, and how once they get a whiff of this thing, they will exploit it to the fullest and ruin everything for them. But for Jessica, Christopher has already ruined everything. Jessica storms away to call her family from the phone booth, meanwhile, it takes no time for Christopher to be surrounded by a crowd of fans. Jessica dries her tears and gets out of the phone booth, though neither of them realize that they have been spotted by a paparazzi. Life goes on and Christopher gets back to being a superstar. One day after a recording session, Christopher watches a slideshow of his pictures with Jessica. Stubby is aware of Christopher's adventures with Jessica and also of his feelings for the girl. Christopher just can't get Jessica out of his mind and he's telling Stubby about her when Alexis overhears their conversation. She confronts Christopher about it but gets over it in the next second, when she finds out an even more famous actor is available to date. She breaks up with Christopher and goes on her merry way. Much to his relief, Christopher is now a free man. Sarah and Jessica's vacation is over and it is time to go back to Michigan. Jessica's grandmother imparts some words of wisdom her way, telling her that while everything might seem messy right now, life has a way of working itself out. Jessica takes comfort in her words and leaves for home, unaware that her every move is being tracked by a photographer. A picture of her makes its way to Alan, who then reprimands Christopher for letting this thing get out of hand. Now there are rumors about Jessica and Christopher and it is just too bad for his next project. He does not think Christopher is all that serious about this movie, and that they should reconsider casting him for the part. Christopher and his parents ask for a chance to make things right and Alan agrees to reconsider, if Christopher goes on the news and admits that he has nothing to do with Jessica, and that she was just some fan who followed him around all day. Christopher does not feel too good about lying but given the choice between the movie or Jessica, he picks the movie. In his interview, Christopher does as told and very easily convinces his fans and the media that Jessica was just an obsessive fan. This news segment makes Jessica's life unbearable as a crowd of paparazzi gather around her house in Michigan. Jessica feels distraught but still refuses to share the details of what happened with her parents. But what shatters her heart is the news segment on TV where Christopher refuses to acknowledge her as someone he knows. Jessica decides to speak up and not let the paparazzi ruin her life as they do the celebrities. She steps out of her house in the wild crowd of reporters and photographers come at her like a lion for its prey. The reporter asks her for details on her weekend with Christopher, and Jessica gives it to them straight, calling all of them out for being the source that destroys a celebrity's integrity and leaves them nothing but an empty shell of themselves. She blames them for being the reason why someone like Christopher Wilde had to give up his freedom, his privacy, and his honesty. When asked if she knows who the real Christopher Wilde is, Jessica can't say that she does. She has never met the Christopher Wilde whom everyone else seems to know so much about. After watching Jessica's interview, Stubby feels extremely disappointed in his friend, so much so that he can barely recognize the person in front of him. Christopher defends himself, saying that he had no choice but to do this, and Stubby points out that of late he has been saying that about a lot of things. His words affect him deeply, and they get Christopher to reflect on the choices he has made recently. Having figured out this mistake, Christopher meets with Alan and respectfully backs out of the movie deal. He starts making changes in his life and fires both his parents as his managers. He tells them that he only wants to focus on music for a while, and he'd like them to just be his parents for now. 
When Sarah's friend makes fun of Jessica for having lied about meeting Christopher, it upsets Jessica but Sarah stands up for her sister. She comforts her and gets her to go to the dance with her. At the dance, a wonderful surprise awaits Jessica. Christopher surprises everyone by singing at the dance and he dedicates his song to Jessica. Though his song melts Jessica's heart a little, it does not fix everything as Christopher had hoped. Jessica remains mad at him, when the news reporter comes busting through the doors and points the mic at Christopher. Christopher looks into the camera and admits that he had lied before. He knew who Jessica Olsen was and he is crazy about her. He earnestly apologizes to her and promises to never hurt her the way he did before. His public confession is all it takes for Jessica's heart to melt all the way and she forgives him. In the end, Sarah finally gets to meet Christopher and faints out of excitement. They finally get to spend a normal day with each other at a normal school dance, away from the glitz and glam, and the paparazzi.